Hello. Today I'm going to talk about the undemocratic dissolution of the Soviet Union. Yes, dissolution, not the collapse. The word collapse makes it sound as if the Soviet Union fell under its own weight, so to speak. This couldn't be further from the truth. I'll make a video about this in the future. The Soviet Union dissolved because it was a conscious act by the reactionaries in power to destroy the nation simply through signing a piece of paper. There wasn't a vote to dissolve it, people weren't clamoring in the streets trying to destroy it, nothing. A piece of paper was signed, and against the wishes of the Soviet people, the USSR was criminally dissolved. A referendum was done right before the dissolution, asking people if they would like to preserve the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, and 80% of the Soviet Union voted. Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Moldova, Georgia, and Armenia didn't take part in this, but the general trend from all the other republics might give an indication to uh, how they may have voted. The results? 76.4% of voters wanted the USSR to stay. 76.4%. They wanted the USSR to stay and not be dissolved. That's almost 4 out of every 5 people. Specifically in the peripheral republics, the vote was almost entirely for the preservation of the Union. This is blatant proof that spits in the face of all those that claim that the USSR was horrible and that people were ecstatic to finally see it gone. Poles in practically every former socialist nation have shown otherwise, with many people saying they lived better during socialist times and many wishing it would come back. If you don't believe me, I can make a separate video about this. Even in Ukraine, the quote-unquote most anti-communist republic, or so claims Western propaganda, the true results show that over 70%, a clear majority, wanted the republic to stay. If only the Soviet people could vote to recreate the Soviet Union. But, as Emma Goldman once said, if voting really did change anything, they would have made it illegal.